much going on here anyway. Hello, uh, my name's Aaron. Um, let me turn the AC off. It's loud. I'll be hot. I'll be hot for you guys. I mean... Off. Good to go. Alright. Hello. My name's Aaron. Um, as I said, uh, I'm going to try to teach you. I've been playing this song the past couple days. I've just kind of fallen in love with it. Um, big fan of this artist, too. Phoebe Bridgers. Um, newer artist, newer singer songwriter. Uh, writes some really cool stuff. Uh, this is a song of hers called Smoke Signals. Um, and this is pulled from. Uh, like a NPR um, South by Lullaby, South by South Lullaby. I don't know if it's at South by Southwest or if that's just what they call it, but um, she's essentially in a hotel room sitting on a bed playing this song, and um, she's with her drummer who's playing some like toy bells and doing some really cool harmonizing. Um, he's a good singer in and of himself, but uh, yeah, um, thought I'd try to teach you this song today. I like it a lot. There are two ways you can play this song. Um, the way she does it, with a good old pick, um, when you're just kind of strumming the chords. But if you do that, you're really gonna work on want to work on your accuracy. Make sure you're good with the pick, because there are a lot of strings here that need to be muted, and string muting is possibly one of the most underrated um, aspects of guitar playing that exists. Um, yeah, it just if you can't mute the strings that you need to be quiet, you're you're kind of screwed. <laughs> so, and I'm not the expert at it, but try to use your oh, oh wow, well, try to use your uh, right hand palm. Make sure you're really. I mean, you can almost mute that D string the whole time. It still gives you a pretty good thick, nice sound. But you don't want to be playing this. This A string while you're doing this section. You don't want to be playing this D string while you're doing this section. That'll give you not the greatest sound. Or the E flat. And I'll go through the tuning here because I'm getting ahead of myself. So this song is in a really cool tuning. It's um, it's like an open E flat major seven with a sharp four in there. It's very cool. Very um, it kind of sounds like one of those chords you end like a jazz song on or like an instrumental song. It's like very ambiguous and and cool although we're not playing the open chord we're gonna be playing some other chords um, but yeah the tuning is E flat um, where your e, low E string usually is your A string uh, stays the same your low D string stays the same or I guess yeah your low D string uh, your G string is gonna stay the same your B string is gonna be tuned down a half step to B flat and your high E string is gonna be tuned down a whole step to D giving you this really interesting I, it's not really an open tuning because it is not I mean I guess it is all tunings can be considered open tunings if you just find out what chord they are open to but um, it's just a tuning that she chose for whatever reason and it's really cool and um, the chords in it that she's using are very very cool so um, and like I said you really want to to get good at muting um, with your right and left hands you know use your thumb to get your E flat string use your your palm to kind of you know just get that keep your palm close to your to the strings and whenever you need to you know press it down to get a mute um, it's easier Ch try to practice playing not with your hand way out here like Oh, it's hard to... Not going to be able to show you that. But just try to keep your uh, right hand close. Especially when you're picking, try to keep it close to the... Um, 
to your guitar, to your strings. Um, yeah. So if you play with a pick, really try to get good at muting. So I'll go ahead and go through the chords now. I'll show you what those are. Mic. So the first chord. You really you make sure you mute your A, str a string, but um, you got your second, your first finger on the second fret of your E flat string. And your um, pinky or your ring finger, whichever one, is going to be on the third fret of your G string, giving you that. She's coming down here and hitting these open strings like throughout the song. They're almost like drill. So, and that goes. All you're doing from there. As you're moving your, um, you can do it this way, or you can kind of anchor your uh, your ring finger on the G string. That's a G string. Um, put your pointer finger here, and then use your pinky to come to the fourth fret. Because that's all you're doing to go to the next chord. Is you going from two second fret, third fret to fourth fret, third fret. And then there's that little lick. She really only plays that little. Uh, like bass line lick when she's uh, just playing the guitar like in the opening you're gonna make sure that you're accurate there I'm not the best at it but you're gonna want to really try to get accurate at hitting those strings because if you hit that E flat string at the wrong time it doesn't sound right and make sure you use muting mute here Maybe use your thumb to keep your E flat string in check or your, you know, your right palm. You can kind of get away with muting these notes a little bit. Still doesn't sound bad. And then that'll keep your E flat string in check too. Jeez. Close to the fretboard. Um, must be not very human today, although that's a lie. It's extremely human today. But um, yeah, so the beginning. from this part you're going to uh, this this chord here which is uh, your pointer finger is going to be on the third you can kind of you can switch your fingers around a whole bunch here I'm just going to give you the fret numbers and then you know you kind of figure out what's comfortable but what I'm doing is putting my pointer finger down on the third fret of the A string and your third fret of your G string stays fretted that kind of stays fretted throughout the song um, yeah then uh, the little lick you're just kind of you go up to the fifth fret of your a string down to the first fret of your a string and then open e flat so oops you don't <laughs> i do that all the time i've accidentally come back i want to come back to the third fret make sure you go all the way down to the first fret because that's where it goes um and then the, the second time she plays that um she just kind of does like to one instead of going up to five yeah really try to keep that E flat string in check you don't want to be playing that unnecessarily and that is like the brunt the brute the the brunt the brute I don't know which of those words if any of them even work in that context but that is most of the song as what she sings the verses over and the only real dip most of the song and uh, the only real difference is um, when she is singing the chorus, the very last um, line of the chorus, she says, burning trash, burning, burning tra trash out on the beach. She does a walk down there um, of, the, of your original chords. So you're walking down like from that four, three fret, your uh, middle fingers on the fourth fret of your E flat string and your uh, pointer fingers at the third fret of your G string. Then you're going back to your first chord where your pointer finger is on the second fret of your E flat string and your pinky ring finger or whatever it's on the third fret of your G string and then open up that E flat string and bring your pointer finger back to the first fret of your A string and um, every time you're playing like with an open E flat you're gonna want to bring your pointer finger down to that uh, first fret of your A string because that gives you a B flat um, 
which gives you like this and that chord there it's like an E flat major 7 but with no third yeah you theoretically you could open up your G string and give it a third but I don't think she does I think she just kind of almost does it like a power chord with the seventh in there which is cool um, so yeah I'll go ahead and play through but that's really like the whole song and it's super simple but it's also a super super beautiful song so I'll go ahead and play through it here say and one reason why I'm not the greatest um, with the pick is because I don't play this song with a pick much I usually finger pick it so stuff but um you know play it however you want um and like i've said in um, past um videos is i have a really hard time finding ways to describe finger picking in like a teaching context other than literally grabbing your hands which i can't do um and and you know telling you or more or less forcing you to play the right notes at the right time excuse me but yeah if you're familiar with finger picking and can pick up finger picking really easy. Um, I think this is a really cool song to finger pick because um, I don't know why, but I just I, I like it. I mean, most songs I mean can be translated to finger picking relatively easy, and if that's the sound that you prefer, um, then why not give it a shot? But uh, yeah, I really like to finger pick this song. Also makes accuracy a lot easier for me because I'm, I'm a much better finger picker than I am a regular picker so um, yeah it makes accuracy a lot easier for me it makes it easier to hit the right bass notes um, but if you're good with a pick I'm sure you can make make it sound great I and mean, it sounds great with a pick um, she plays it with a pick and that's what I originally fell in love with so you know it's just whatever you want to do but yeah that's essentially the whole song um i'll do the first verse i'll even i'll sing it for you because then it's, it's easier to contextualize it that way i don't sing a lot but um i have been singing this song in the, over the past couple of days and i just that's kind of why i fell in love with it
just a good idea. You know, the song is essentially just a repeat of that um, until the end. And I made a little mistake there, but that's a good lesson in mistakes. Um, make them and then fix them. But yeah, uh, when she does the burning trash out on the beach. Uh, starts at the fourth fret. I wanted to come back to the second fret, third fret, and continue the progression. So um, just remember that on that line, and it's the only line in the song, you're doing like that walk down. essentially the whole song. Um, Phoebe Bridgers, uh, can't say enough, excellent singer-songwriter, guitar player, um, does a lot of really cool stuff. She also has uh, like a super group, I believe would be the correct label, with um, Julian Baker, who's also awesome, and uh, Lucy Dacus, I think I said her name right. I don't know as much about her, I'm not as familiar with her, but um, she's a great singer. Uh, fits really well into that group that they have. So, uh, yeah, I can't think of a whole lot more to say about this song. Check it out. Listen to it. Um, that'll give you a good idea of, like, the rhythm and stuff. Pretty sure it's just, like, a straightforward 3-4. Yeah. But, um, hope this helps. If not, let me know. But I appreciate it. Thanks. Bye.